Well, welcome back to Steve Rob Reviews. Today, we're gonna to be a little bit of an adventure here, and I'm gonna show you this, uh, this little deer blind that I had uh, reviewed a little while ago. I'm gonna put it up on the edge of my pasture here. I got the perfect spot for it. But first of all, I had mentioned these uh, Stanley thermoses a long time ago, and there's a lot of controversy between whether they were made offshore or made in the USA, if there was a difference. I had the original one made in the USA. And guys, I'm going to show you. This is uh, just before 9 o'clock in the morning now. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this. And this has been sitting here since 9 o'clock yesterday morning. So I've already had one cup of coffee. And guys, I want to show you this. Can you guys see that? I mean, that is piping hot, and I get three of these, and there's just a little bit left over. I don't even worry about that little part. But yeah, I get to have another cup of coffee right now. 24 hours, and it's nice and hot. Now, it's not hot in here all the time. I don't heat the cabin during the daytime, only uh, when I come back in in the evening. So... Yeah, it's cool, and today is right on the freezing mark. It's in October, and she's cold. So I'm gonna go out there to the uh, pasture. I'm gonna put up this thing. I'm gonna show you what it's all about. And I've got a uh, another one of them uh, corn barrel feeders. A little bit of different one than I had uh, last week, where uh, <laughs> me and Doug put that thing up. And I'll tell you what, it was a job and a half trying to get that put up. <laughs> Uh, like I say, when you try to design something and actually put it into practice, but I have some fantastic ideas because I have another one of these uh, barrels that I'm going to put up in another location next year, and it's a completely different build, guys. So, okay, I'm going to have this cup of coffee. We're going to head out. Well, what do you think? Look at this. It took me at the most 10 minutes to take this thing up. You just pull on the each section and it just kind of pops up. And the uh, easiest thing I ever put up in my life. Uh, the Primus Club XL, it's called. And uh, I'll just give you a little tour around, and then I'll take you for a little walk. Well, that's it right there with the door open. And guys, I tell you what, there is lots of room in there. And when you're sitting right there, that whole screen part opens right up. And, of course, we'll open this side up here, too. But all I did was just drive some stakes in the ground all the way around it. And uh, one in the back and one on the far side. And guys, a few that are been watching the channel for a while there. Yeah, I got this all done this morning. I trimmed all them trees up there so I can get underneath there with the tractor. And uh, yeah, it's a gorgeous day up here in October. And... Uh, doesn't get much better than this so I'll show you exactly the reason why I put this here and uh, we'll go for a little bit of a walk okay so we're looking at the back of this right now and you get a good idea of where I'm looking when we're going to be sitting inside and we're going right up there so let's just go for a little bit of a walk here and I'll explain to you why I have that right there so, as we come along here, this is a kind of a big kind of a swamp and a bog down in here. And I'll show you the deer. It's like the, the 401 here for deer and moose. And it's a, just a huge highway. Guys, this is the deer here. They just hop up this hill here. And they come up here all the time. I mean, they like this really thick stuff. They bed down in that during the daytime. And uh, well, as we come up here, I see the, uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I got my grain barrel there. And I have a trail cam set on this post right here. And I've got all kinds of deer and moose right off of that trail cam there. So of course you see I have to cut all this grass here. 
and uh, there's the corn barrel. Now I did take some corn and just kind of spread it along the ground here because they travel back and forth here and you can see where Mr. Bear chewing on the barrel there. Uh, yeah, so we'll see what happens here and I'll give you a shot of exactly now you see it's just perfect this this whole area here because they do come out through the bush here on either side and they do come from the back side so I think it's a perfect spot what do you guys think I think it's a good setup and uh, you know what I recommend this for anybody for ease of putting it up I can't believe and it's going to be so easy to take it down store it for next year but I look forward to showing you this uh, this November now, they say you should put one of these up about three to four weeks before the season actually starts where you are. Let the deer get accust, uh, accustomed to the, you know, to the outline of it. And, you know, they'll get used to it over time. So it's about four weeks before the, uh, the hunting season. And I'm looking forward to trying this thing out. You're out of the wind. You're sitting inside there. It's going to be just terrific because we usually get you know, snow and rain in November, the first week of November. And guys, it's the best time of the year. So thanks for joining me here today. If you've never seen this channel before, you're welcome to subscribe. You guys take care now, eh? Cheers.